you suffering from a stomach ulcer, poor blood circulation, weak digestion, heart disease, chronic pain, sore throats, headaches, or toothaches? Well, guess what? Today we have the miraculous cayenne pepper for you. Cayenne pepper is a remarkable herb, and you will be surprised to know that it is not a chili. Chili comes from the chili family, and cayenne pepper comes from the capsicum family. Now the question is why it is one of the powerful and miraculous herb presents out there. That is because the number one most important active in cayenne pepper is that it moves blood throughout your body, so it will pull blood to the area where it is needed. Cayenne pepper is also a wonderful healer, and and if you put it with any other compatible herb, it'll intensify its action. Now, another wonderful property of this herb is that it is actually a very safe herb. It will never harm. It might feel like it sometimes, but it will never harm you. So, now let us begin by looking at the 10 benefits of cayenne pepper. Number one, it will heal a stomach ulcer. What the cayenne pepper does is it causes a constriction of any open blood vessels. For example, if you have any cut externally, and if you pour cayenne pepper into it, it'll stop the bleeding so any cut, put the cayenne pepper on it. Yes, it will hurt, but it's already hurting. Once it settles down, then bind it up, because it'll constrict the blood vessels and will cause them to shut now. Now, same rule applies for internal bleeding. You can take cayenne pepper. Just take a quarter teaspoon of cayenne pepper and a little bit of water and then gulp it down. It'll give a little bit of a tingle sensation, but it will never hurt. For better results, take three times a day and you will see results in three, four days. Number two, it will heal minor aches, pains and fevers, as per Barbara O'Neill. If someone is on Wolin or aspirin and they are a little concerned, they should start taking a quarter of a teaspoon three times a day, and most people will be amazed by the way cayenne pepper heals. Not only her, but also, according to the University of Maryland Medical Center, capsaicin can reduce pain, and cayenne pepper contains a high amount of capsaicin. So here is the science behind why it will work for reliving and healing minor aches, pains, and fevers. Capsaicin reduces the amount of a chemical that delivers pain messages to the brain, and as a result, you feel relief. This is why even most pain ointments have capsaicin as one of their ingredients. Number three, it will help in waking up the area that is numb and sleeping. One of the amazing benefits of cayenne pepper is that it can be used to wake up areas of the body that may be sleeping. It was tested on a group of people who got peripheral neuropathy, which means they have lost the feeling in their feet. And with cayenne pepper on the second night, they got pins and needles in their feet. Now, what are pins and needles feelings? Well, that is the first sign that life's coming back in the feet. Keep in mind that you must never allow your feet to get cold because cold feet drives cool blood back to the extremities, which can be very bad for the health of your internal organs, and perfect health requires perfect circulation. And perfect circulation means that your feet are the same as the rest of your body at the same temperature. Now, the perfect way to keep your blood circulation steady is to exercise, especially interval training. But if you are still suffering from cold feet and numbness in your feet, or if someone has lost the feelings in their extremities, all you have to do is to put a cayenne pepper compress on the bottom of the feet. Take a kitchen paper that has been folded over, put a light sprinkle of castor or olive oil on that, and then sprinkle about half a teaspoon of cayenne pepper. Now wrap it around and put it in a sock and keep it on all night. Wipe it away in the morning, and by morning your feet will become warm and will stay warm. Now, if you put it on your feet every night, you're going to want to sit with your feet in ice water all day long because your feet will get too hot. So an ideal suggestion is that if someone has cold feet, do it about every three nights until their feet stay warm. And if someone has no feeling in their feet, even then only do it every two nights. And of course, you wait for your result, and then you should stop. Number four, it will help you with your thyroid gland. Thyroid glands, whether it be under or overactive, are the result of iodine deficiency. And one of the other amazing benefits of cayenne pepper is that you can wake up an underactive thyroid gland with it. Yes, you heard that right. If you have an underactive thyroid gland, all you have to do is to put cayenne pepper wrap around it for at least an hour, and it will then draw the blood towards it, which will wake it up. Remember? We discussed it in the very first sentence. One of the best properties of cayenne pepper is to draw blood. So for an underactive thyroid gland, you can put a cayenne pepper compress on that. But if for someone who has an overactive thyroid gland, they should put ice on the thyroid gland to slow it down. And one of the other things that really can help the thyroid gland to control or balance out 
is high-intensity exercise. Number five, it helps in protecting the heart. It may sound unbelievable, but one report suggests that cayenne pepper can stop a heart attack in just 30 seconds. In fact, the renowned natural herbalist Dr. John Christopher is known for bringing his patients out of heart attacks simply by having them drink warm cayenne water. This is understandable since one of the best active of cayenne pepper is to draw blood which clears the lipid deposits that narrow the arteries. Hence, it helps in opening the arteries which further helps with heart health. It also helps in preventing blood clots, making it effective in preventing heart attacks. And it further improves the health of blood vessels and lowers blood pressure. And more interestingly, cayenne can help reduce plaques and might lower cholesterol. It breaks down the fibrin networks that hold the plaque in place, thereby reducing the buildup. Number six, it helps in clearing congestion. If you're experiencing sinus congestion, cayenne pepper can be helpful. The capsaicin in cayenne pepper can help to thin mucus and stimulate the sinuses, ultimately improving air circulation and providing relief. Capsaicin may also have a positive effect on rhinitis, a condition with symptoms such as post-nasal drip and nasal congestion. Although more research is needed, the potential for respiratory health benefits looks promising. Just add one teaspoon of the cayenne pepper to a cup of hot water and consume it three times a day. This can help dilate the blood vessels in your nose, stimulate secretions, and drain the sinuses. Other than that, it can also help clear congestion caused by bronchitis. It is also beneficial for treating sinus infections, sore throats, and laryngitis. You can use it as a gargle. It may even help in treating colds and flu, as well as other related allergies. Number seven, it helps in detoxify. Detoxifying is like recharging your batteries for a new and invigorated you. You can use cayenne to help with this process. One popular detox diet involves cayenne, pepper, and lemon. This diet was developed in 1940 by Stanley Burroughs, an alternative health practitioner. It works by reducing calorie intake. The detox diet lasts for 10 days. During this time, you drink 12 glasses of a tonic made of water, lemon juice, maple syrup, and cayenne pepper, and no solid foods. The calorie intake is around 650 to 1,300 a day. Weight loss occurs quickly, with the potential to lose close to 3 pounds a week, but most of it is water weight. However, it's not recommended to follow this detox diet. Our bodies need a variety of nutrients to stay healthy, which this diet doesn't offer. Although some anecdotal reports suggest that this diet leaves one feeling healthier and more energetic, there is no concrete research to support it. In fact, your body natural detoxification system is enough to keep you healthy. This detox tonic could be a healthier alternative to sugary beverages occasionally. Alternatively, you can simply add cayenne pepper to your foods to aid detoxification. Number eight, it helps in improving immunity. There are not many studies on this, but the antioxidants in cayenne pepper can enhance one's immunity. Eating this pepper is a natural remedy that also increases your body heat, which is said to strengthen your immune system. System as well. In a research study, the antioxidant activity of different peppers, including cayenne pepper, was determined based on their ferric reducing antioxidant power, FRAP activity. Although cayenne pepper has less antioxidant activity than other varieties, it was found to be a potent antioxidant. You can check out the graph below to see the results of the study. Number nine, improves skin and hair health. While there is limited research on this topic, some reports suggest that cayenne pepper has benefits for the skin and hair. The capsaicin in the pepper has anti-inflammatory properties that can help soothe skin redness and treat acne-induced skin discomfort coloration, promoting skin health. However, it's important not to use the pepper alone. Instead, mix one spoon of the pepper with some cocoa powder and half a ripe avocado until you get a paste. Apply it to your face and rinse after 15 minutes. Additionally, the vitamins in cayenne pepper can improve hair health. To use it for your hair, mix some of the pepper with honey and apply it to your scalp. Cover your hair with a plastic wrap and wash it off after 30 minutes. For even stronger hair, you can add three eggs and olive oil to this mixture and follow the same procedure. This remedy can also add volume and shine to your hair. Number 10. Can heal toothaches. Cayenne pepper has been used as a remedy for toothache for centuries. When applied to the affected area, cayenne pepper acts as a counter-irritant, which helps to alleviate the deeper tooth pain by diverting the brain's attention away from the toothache. 
Additionally, the pepper increases local blood flow, which can promote healing and provide relief. However, it's important to use caution when applying cayenne pepper, as it can cause a burning sensation. It's advisable to consult with a dentist before using this remedy. Number 11. It has antimicrobial properties. Cayenne pepper is known for its antibacterial and antifungal properties, which can be beneficial in preventing infection in the case of an injury. The active component in cayenne pepper capsaicin has been shown to have antimicrobial effects, making it a potential natural remedy for promoting wound healing and preventing infections. Number 12. Helps in relieving joint pains. Capsaicin, a compound found in cayenne pepper, has been shown to provide pain relief. Studies have demonstrated that using capsaicin-containing creams on painful joints can improve their condition. According to the Arthritis Foundation, capsaicin has anti-inflammatory properties that may help alleviate arthritis and joint pains. Additionally, topical capsaicin can be effective for osteoarthritis pain and fibromyalgia. Number 13. Improves digestive health. It is widely believed that the state of your health is closely linked to the quality of your digestive function. Cayenne pepper is known to be beneficial in this regard due to its various properties. Cayenne has been found to stimulate heart action and improve circulation, which in turn can accelerate the digestive process. Furthermore, it has been observed to enhance the stomach's ability to protect itself against infections and increase the production of digestive fluids. Additionally, cayenne pepper facilitates the delivery of essential enzymes to the stomach, thereby contributing to overall digestive health. Moreover, it has been reported to alleviate symptoms such as intestinal gas, stomach pain, diarrhea, and upset stomach. Cayenne pepper is generally safe to use as a spice in cooking, but consuming too much can lead to stomach aches and irritate the digestive system. It may not be suitable for people with gastroesophageal reflux disease or irritable bowel syndrome. If you are taking warfarin or any blood thinner medications, it's important to consult your doctor before using cayenne pepper as it may increase the risk of bleeding. Additionally, cayenne pepper can interact with aspirin and ACE, angiotensin-converting enzyme, inhibitors. It is commonly used to make hot sauce and can be ground into a powder for everyday cooking. To make cayenne powder at home, wash the peppers thoroughly, then dry them and grind them into a fine powder using a food blender or coffee grinder. Or you can buy its powder easily from any grocery store. It has a wide range of health benefits, including pain relievers, improves metabolism, lowers appetite, and treats cold. But because of its interactions with certain medications, it's better to consult your doctor if you have any reservations. So, will you start including cayenne pepper in your diet after watching this video? Please let us know in the comment section below. Also, please don't forget to subscribe, to like, comment, and share my channel. I can't grow this channel without your support. Thank you for watching. Until next time, take care and adios.